Hey everyone, here I am. We are back. Right, it's time to put the, uh, the graphic using an airbrush with some white airbrush paint. So this is just kind of a cheap airbrush that's got a wide kind of fan. I've uh, got some paint in. Now, I use a little bit of Windex if it's a bit thick as a reducer. This is my logo and I'm gonna do like a ripped carbon effect. So white first, I've ripped the tape to make the surround. Use a bit of air, blow it off. We're basically gonna go white first. We'll just try the paint out here. Not spray too heavy around the edges, but just give it a light dusting. Okay, so a little bit grainy. A bit of reducer. Hold your finger over the nozzle. Pull back on the trigger. Mix it up. Okay, so we mix that in. Let's just see now. Boost the pressure a little bit more. That's better. Okay. Make sure it's well mixed. I cut my logo out of some uh, electrical tape, by the way. I've used it once already. I've done all, already done a logo. Won't show you that yet. Didn't do the rip look, but it's the same sort of shape for the back drive plate. So I'm basically gonna just build this up slowly. What you wanna do is just go more into the middle area than, than around the edges. What we want is to build it up it will still get to the edge, but we don't want a thick edge. If you go too heavy, uh, you're going to end up with a fat lip. It's starting to get there. We'll go a couple more coats, leaving the edge slightly, and then I'll be back in a sec with the orange. All right. Okay, now we come in with our black, and I've tinted this black more towards the purple. I've mixed this black with uh, red, blue, and yellow. If you've got a black, put a bit of purple in there until you can just see a bit of purple, because if you go in with a black that's on the blue side of life spectrum, you're gonna get a brown, orange, and blue make brown. Ask me how I know that, guys. Our orange is dry. We're gonna come in with our black, and we're gonna go half on the tape around the edge and half onto the orange. My light source, I'm pointing this way. This top edge is gonna have a heavier black. Imagine the lights here, this is gonna cast underneath. So I'm just gonna go light first. Slightly more, one more on the tops. Let's start with the uh, with the film here. Still got to be careful; it's all still fresh. This is probably the best bit, though, guys. You take her off here. Yeah? Don't want any of this plastic touching this new paint. So we we'll get rid of that first, out of the way. Okay, this is a little bit nicer now. We just just the tape to do. Bit of unmasking. Who doesn't love a bit of unmasking, eh? I'm always excited to see. The board's lacquered, so if I need to, I can rub that off if I wanted. That looks like it's in the board. It looks good to me. There's a little bit of white underspray on the very edges, gives it the look like the lights hit the edge. Gives it even more of an impression. Okay, then this is the technical little bit here now. You take your blade and you've got to get under without scratching your paintwork. Get a corner going and we peel. Okay, keep our plastics that we take off. So if we need to do any touchy-uppy, uh, we'll have them handy. Got a couple of bits I can clean up with the knife after. Just on the very, very edge. 
We'll see what we end up with here. I've got a bit of undersprayed AC in there. So a bit of underspray gone under, and that cleans up fairly easily with a bit of tissue on the end of my knife, damp. I can uh, work around with the tissue very lightly and it will come off. But there you go, it's kind of the look I've wanted. Once I've cleaned my logo out, clean all these edges as carefully as I can and then I'll be lacquering this and that will seal that onto there. So there you go, seal those, those underspray chips. I'll wipe those off carefully and that basically gives you the look of uh, like the carbon's been ripped. Okay, Waysiders, here we are. I've done my graphics and I lacquered the whole board a couple of times each side. And I had to redo my orange bands, made them black. I guess in a way it looks better because there was a, bit, a lot of orange going on. I thought it was dry, it felt dry. As soon as I turned it onto the stands, it, I ended up with stand marks on the board. We're gonna polish this up with the machine and the polish head. I've done a little bit on the top. There we go, guys, it's looking nice, stealthy. Okay, there's the top, a quick shot. It's just had a one, one little hand go of polish. There she is with the graphics on that side. There's the graphics on the other side. I'll put you on the tripod. Try and get some angles and some things going on here. So uh, let's go for it, guys. Lovely jubbly. Mm -hmm. 